Crohn's disease is a progressive inflammatory disease for which there is no known cure. In severe cases, patients may even have to go undergo surgery to remove parts of their gastrointestinal tract. Well, right now, Israeli biotech company Red Hill is waiting on some hopefully very promising results, which could change the way we treat this disease forever. And here with more, and this is Red Hill's chief business officer, Guy Goldberg. Guy, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So what are the results you're waiting for? What is this test? Yeah, so we are right now conducting uh, probably the largest, most robust study ever done, <clears throat> pardon me, ever done with an anti-bacterial uh, approach to treating Crohn's okay. disease. This is a groundbreaking new approach, and if we're correct, we'll, this will be uh, a new salvation for patients and for doctors and for everyone affected by this terrible disease. Okay. When you say antibacterial, you mean antibiotics? Correct. Like a... Correct. So the current way of treating Crohn's disease is basically suppressing the body's entire immune response. Right. And that only works for a temporary period of time and it has very terrible side effects. Mm. Uh, these treatments don't work very well because they're essentially treating the symptoms of the disease and not providing a cure. We're trying to address the underlying cause of the disease, which a lot of research has indicated is a specific bacteria called Mycobacterium avium paratuberculosis, okay. or MAP for short. Gotcha, so now there is a lot that is not known about Crohn's disease. Um, in the U.S. alone, I think it's something like 800,000 people a year get right, yeah. diagnosed at least that every year, right? Correct. Is that number increasing or, or decreasing? Yes, it's one of these diseases that you see the incidence of it rising, not just in the U.S., but all across the world, especially developing countries. What's very interesting is after the fall of the Soviet Union, you see the rise, uh, the, the, the skyrocketing of the disease in wow. Eastern Europe, in uh, apartheid South Africa. After the fall of apartheid, you see in the black population, the significant rise of the disease. So it's a disease that is uh, very likely linked to an environmental trigger. Right, and this poverty specific, probably too. And, and poverty as well, right. as much as several environmental conditions, and we're trying to address this underlying uh, bacterial uh, trigger that is, that is seen to cause that link. Wow, so I've got to ask this, when do these tests come in? Like when do you get the results back? And when the, do you know? Yeah, so in the next few weeks. And just wow, to put so in very soon. Yeah, to put in perspective, this is a project that we've spent tens of millions of dollars on. Uh, several years, a lot of people, this is their life work, and all of it is coming to a head in the fall, in the coming three weeks. So it's a very exciting time for, for our company um, and also for patients, of course. And I've got to ask, we've got to wrap up, but I've got to ask, sure. like, when you say this could be a, you know, a big breakthrough, how big are we talking? Is this like there could be a cure or another link towards a cure? Like, what can we... Right, this is, what we're talking about is potentially taking patients with active disease and bringing them into remission. So wow. that's effectively providing a cure for these patients who right now don't have a lot of good options. Amazing, Guy, you do amazing work. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. with us. Thank you for having yeah. me. Good luck, okay? Thank you.